Hello, and welcome to another modeling video. Uh, this is Alan from the Mockin' Man at YouTube with a, another modeling video. Today we'll be uh, looking at the build and finish of a model tank, 72nd scale. I uh, love doing these guys, but I haven't had time to finish one for a while. Club activities, I've snapped a few together, but uh, they're ready for painting, and this one is of no exception. There's a reason why I wanted to get this one out of the backlog uh, done. And uh, a dragon kit, a Nash Horn from uh, World War II. It was a terrible, terrible experience. Did not enjoy the uh, building part of the kit whatsoever. Regardless of how nice the uh, detailed pop and interesting that the uh, kit looked. Though at what I uh, paid for it, I pretty much deserved what I got. Inside the kit, we had a ton of uh, fairly slender runners, including the classic uh, Dragon cardboard piece with uh, styrene tracks, a uh, photo etch, and uh, a large decal sheet. The instructions are in color. Uh, won't get into them too much. Runner layout, uh, comprehensive uh, painting guide, which is appreciated. But the actual instructions themselves being a long-winded kit with a lot of steps building the uh, cannon and interior sections. Lots and lots of tiny pieces. Way too cluttered. I had a lot of trouble comparing and figuring out where pieces go, steps missing, incorrect uh, locations and just absolutely missing um, information. Uh, it's clear to say the instructions were useless. Now the issue with Dragon 72nd Armour is they do a lot of 35th stuff. Now their original proper sculpts of, tw of uh, 72nd are quite nice. I uh, built one a while ago, a very unusual subject. Loved it. Though most of the 72nd stuff is scaled down 35th kits. So what would be reasonable in detail and parts breakdown and whatnot for a 35th once you break it down to 72nd, it starts getting a bit fiddly. Now, it's my fault for getting an open-end uh, half-track-ish vehicle with thin armor and uh, an absolute ton of detail for a uh, artillery piece. And uh, this uh, kit encompasses all of that. Uh, did get around it, but there was a lot of cutting out of pieces and a bit of cheating and gluing and putting here and there, but got through it. Being burnt out made a few mistakes. Started straight off the bat with uh, the wheel assembly. Uh, always a tedious process on uh, armour. And uh, the pegs were extremely skinny. Uh, applied a bit uh, wonky and wobbly. When you stretch over the uh, tracks themselves, uh, they're very, very fragile. And even though they react to plastic cement, I still always uh, super glue them as per that very old tutorial I've done. So that came together. Uh, the body is quite fragile, but once you prop up the piece together and uh, get them standing, they glue very slowly together, but you'll eventually get a frame. Uh, a little super glue on the inside for added support. And uh, once we get to the cannon, uh, a lot of detail and small pieces fell off. Uh, that took the absolute longest, um, probably six months by itself, on and off, just getting bored and putting it aside, trying to build it where I can at the odd meeting and whatnot when I had patience. The rest of the kit went together fairly easy. I try to put in as much detail as I can around the hutches and uh, manholes and whatnot. Uh, a lot of the photo etch stuff I just abandoned far too uh, small and uh, puttied up the uh, joints, a little bit of the inside and really gummed up the uh, tracks and the tyres to hide a mess. I just uh, more or less plan to do a fairly uh, heavy camouflage uh, finish with um, quite a bit of uh, mud and uh, weathering, which uh, managed to cover it nicely. Once I got to the painting stage, a uh, lot easier. Everything's in one piece, so I decided to have some fun. Tested out uh, a new bottle of Evo Surface uh, Primer by Guy Note. This is a special color and blend for uh, tanks. And uh, the rest of the coloring is uh, lacquer for white, everything else in acrylic. Uh, 
went for a late war colour scheme, which uh, required a fair amount of masking. So I applied on the uh, primer and a little uh, pre-shading, being a large project, uh, post-shaded with the white and uh, the wonderful, wonderful masking agent, uh, Mr. Neo Mask, got this uh, tight, smallish lineage camouflage effect. Gave the uh, masking agent a few days to fully harden up, not to make any mistakes, and re pre and post shaded on top in the correct uh, sand colours. Once uh, all of that paint was, uh, or masking bits was lifted off, had to sort of uh, disguise and hide a lot of the faults and the things that were uh, wrong with this uh, kit, which pretty good exercise for uh, such a terrible job I did uh, building it. Uh, you know, glue spills and putty marks and whatnot. Uh, being um, shaded, it uh, didn't really give any hard edge lines and uh, the camouflage did hide a lot of the smaller things and using the airbrush and just dusting on different tones of uh, browns around the uh, tracks and underneath and some uh, pigment weathering around uh, some crevices in the actual open hatch made a nice effect. Before the weathering steps everything was of course uh, sludge washed with Citadel uh, black and uh, to top it all off a few coats of uh, Tamir flat coat clear acrylic. Uh, the decals as always uh, Dragon makes nice decals applied very very easily and stand up quite nice as a pre-cut set. Overall I spent well over a year on this kit and uh, have to admit to being happy with the finish even though I thought it would turn out to be a complete and utter disaster. Though if you look hard enough you'll be able to definitely pinch things out, it's uh, not going anywhere near a competition. In the way of uh, detail, proportions, it looks really, really nice. Though the amount of sheer effort, unless you're really pedantic about uh, doing things absolutely correct, or you're one of these guys that build um, perfect uh, military battleship kits, uh, very, very tricky. Would definitely uh, recommend for someone quite advanced if you're really digging this particular model and you cannot find another alternative uh, in this scale. Also, what I'm really happy about this build is uh, definitely having a fair go at a extremely complex camouflage color scheme. Did not get it perfect to the uh, box art. I would have liked if the uh, white lines were far more uh, skinnier. If I had the uh, patience and went a lot slower, I think I would have probably absolutely uh, nailed it. Though that aside, i um, absolutely stoked. And uh, we'll continue trunching out a lot more military tanks of this scale. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time, stay tuned for more tank videos. I've got quite a bit to uh, paint up as well as your usual Gundam content, tutorials, reviews, and whatnot. Catch you guys later.